Hi, welcome back. Now we're gonna talk about all the things you need to do for a successful SEO tactic, campaign, treatment, whatever you wanna call it. Let's go back to the Yoast plugin again. If you use the Yoast plugin for WordPress, again, if you're not gonna use WordPress and another tool, just install WordPress on your local PC and then you can try it out but there are also some good SEO plugins there for OpenCart and Magento. When you use the tool, you can see what's important. Um, let's start with the things that Yoast gives you away. Title settings. The title of every page, product, category, whatever you want, has to be good. The keyword needs to be in there. If you have a web store selling dresses, you have probably have a, wet, a red dress, a blue dress, a yellow dress, etc. So dress is the keyword. Dresses is the keyword for your whole store. So your main page, the keyword is dresses. So on the title of that page, you want the word dresses in it. On the, uh, the product for the red dress, the keyword is red dress. On the product page for the yellow dress, the keyword is yellow dress. Remember that. Meta settings are the settings that Google used to create the result in the search page. So the meta title, the meta keywords, etc., etc. You have to fill those in correctly. The meta title is the link where you click on, the meta description is the little text beneath it. Okay. One very other important thing to do that all uh, systems out there support are sitemaps, XML sitemaps. You have to generate XML sitemaps and upload that to the Google Webmaster Tools. Google Webmaster Tools is something you can implement. Let's look at it. I didn't talk about that one yet. Google Webmaster Tools, there it is. As you can see, yeah, it's in Dutch. It's very hard to get the Google Webmaster Tools uh, on there in English because Google knows my IP, knows my, well, everything. So it keeps telling me to go Dutch, but here you can add a web page like uh, example.com, add a site, and then you have to add some stuff to the uh, website, like a code or a piece of script or whatever, and then it analyzes your website and tells you what you can improve to get a better Google ranking. One option there is also to upload uh, an XML sitemap and that would and with a sitemap you tell Google hey Google I'm gonna help you here here is a file with all of my pages and the hierarchy of those pages from my store so it tells you all the product pages with the category with the main page the contact page the the terms the privacy settings all those stuff it's gonna tell Google these are my pages index them for me it helps google and it increases your ranking um here you can see what you want to exclude and include uh, links very important so add links outgoing add links to your other side so on the red dress side link to the blue dress one on the blue dress one link to the yellow one on the yellow one link to the red one also link externally let's say the wikipedia or maybe there is a great website out there that promotes red dresses or maybe a factory that creates red dresses or uh, a, a gossip magazine, for example, Vogue or something like that, that has an article on it on red dresses and why they are so beautiful and sexy. Just telling something here. Link to that article. Because, okay, thing to know. The bigger the site is you're linking to, the better it is for you. So if you link to, let's say, Vogue, it's very big, uh, you're gonna profit on them because people click on that link, they come on a website with a good ranking, and therefore you link to relevant content. So the relevant content on your page is linking to relevant content on another page. Wow. When they click on your store, that's the one-stop place to get all the good ad content there in the world. Think about that. That is what Google wants. Google wants persons to only click on the first result on the page 
and then the people are finished. They get the information that they want, they, get, they buy the product they want, and then they leave, and they don't click on the second link anymore. That is the ultimate goal of Google. Okay, next up, um, what is all the things you should do for SEO? Okay, so we talked about content, good content, long content. The more words, the better. Use the keywords in there. Use heading tags, like the H1 and the H2 tags. So headings and subheadings. Divide your page into, the, into those things. If you're gonna use um, uh, WooCommerce, they create headings and subheadings for you. So um, the, 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 the web page, the, 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 the title is gonna be the product name, and there'll be any subheadings about the description, and subheadings for reviews, they create that for you. Again, if you build your own site, remember that, add them. That will add a sort of hierarchy in the page that Google can determine what is the content on there. Images, add the images. Again, with a good alt text, a good description, a good file name, etc., etc. All the things that link to the keyword to tell Google, wow, there's a lot of relevant content for that keyword on that page. Last thing to know is how does Google work? What Google does, I talked about it a little bit before, is they want a one-stop place for the people searching. So if a person search for buy red dress, Google wants to uh, serve the, the best web shop out there on the first result that people will likely go to and don't leave the page immediately. It's a called a click back or bounce rating. When you use Google Analytics, you can see that, what I'm talking about. So what is it? The bounce rate or click back rating is, uh, maybe you've done it yourself sometimes. You search for a specific keyword. Okay, let's go. Let's try it. Let's think better. Let's go for um, red dresses. These are advertisements, I think. Okay, let's go. And uh, yeah, there's advertisements. Let's go for this one. Boohoo.com. Bam. We go to this page and we think, no, not correct. This is not what I want. Bam. That's a bounce rating. That is bad for the Google ranking. Because this tells us, okay, there was a person on the internet looking for a red dresses. They clicked on the first link, but they left the page after one second or two seconds or three seconds. That's not good. So probably this page is not showing what the uh, uh, person is searching for expected. Let's go to this one. Ah, yes, I see a red dress here immediately. Ah, a beautiful pop up about cookies. Love the cookie law here in Europe. Bam, big sale. Oh, where are all the red dresses gone? That's funny. Boom, leave. Oh, now I'm back again. Cookie side again. Wow, bad page this. Oh, leave. Okay. You know what I'm saying here? Get good content. And also a good tip is to add a video or an image on a top result. Videos are appealing to people. People want to click the video and they want to play it. And when people click on play for the video, let, for example, you have a, a beautiful video, you found one about a girl in a red dress. Let's search it for V. Oh. Yeah, the art of making red dress on Vimeo. Very nice, red dresses, red dress live, red dress audio only, whatever. Add that on the page, maybe the first thing people see, and they want to click it, and then they see around red dresses. The thing is then, they watch a video. A video normally takes minutes. Let's say they watch 10% of the video. If the video is three minutes long, yeah, they watch 18 seconds. When they watch 18 seconds the video, they are on your page for 18 seconds, meaning that the bounce rate or click back rate is not working. You keep them on the page, telling Google, hey, relevant content is seen here. Again, don't put a video there of some uh, girl in a red dress just walking around. Make it a little bit relevant because when people open the video and they hear a music video, then they're probably gonna click back again. You don't want that. If you don't have a video, use an image and use good, good text, use good call out, wor call out words, et cetera, et cetera improve 
the content to keep people on the page. When you keep people on the page, the click back rating or the bounce rate will uh, decrease, your ranking will increase, and with the ranking increasing, you get more clicks. More clicks means more sales. Okay? So, to sum up, keyword, keyword in the title, keyword in the URL, a lot of time the keyword in the content, a lot of content, more than 2000 words, and an image with, and again, relevant content, to good description, maybe a video, create a sitemap of your web page, um, um, add internal links to uh, rel relative products on your store, create external links to relevant content, the bigger the pages like Wikipedia, Facebook, um, Yahoo, uh, uh, or big uh, like Vogue, big magazines, Cosmopolitan, stuff like that, add those, and that will increase your ranking rapidly. It's, it's all about keeping people on your page, because when people stay on your page, the content is relevant, and that's how Google determines if you should move up or not. Don't forget, you don't move to the position one ranking overnight. Thank you very much.